What is baggage? Is it luggage? Is it past experiences or long-held ideas often regarded as burdens or impediments? Or is it a TV show that I covered a little over a month ago and I'm already covering again? If you answered any of those, then... Well, they're all, they're all right. They're all facts. None of them are untrue. But the one we're going to be focusing on today is the TV show that I covered a little over a month ago and I'm already covering again because it is funny. Baggage is a dating game show where one main contestant must choose between three other contestants solely based on their baggage. The last one standing must then decide if the main contestant's baggage is too much for them. Everyone in the show's got baggage. Uh, it's also hosted by Jerry Springer, so... that should tell you everything you need to know. And as I said before, the show was hosted on The Game Show Network. Which... Whatever channel that is. Last time I covered the show, I was lucky enough to find a full episode uploaded to the official Baggage YouTube channel, which they only have four full episodes and the rest are useless highlight reels. But the other three episodes that they have, not that funny. They're just pretty boring and hard to watch. But if there is a will, then there is a way, even if that way is very, very shitty. I was able to find the whole series streaming online for free, which you may be thinking, Chris, that sounds great. How could that be very, very, very shitty? It just so happens to be streaming on the worst website on the internet. And no, that's not the MyPillow website page where Rudy Giuliani is selling discounted sandals. Although that, that's gotta be like number two. But no, the number one worst website is Pluto TV. Some of you may remember my last run-in with Pluto TV when covering Blind Date. It's still the worst. It was the worst viewing experience of anything ever. But anyways, with all that out of the way, baggage. This is Sarah. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Did she push a boyfriend down a flight of stairs? Does she have a webcam in her bathroom? Or did she steal her neighbor's poodle and collect the $2,500 reward? So far off to a promising start. Only two of the three baggage prompts are possible crimes, which is better than three of the three being crimes. You're looking for a guy? What kind yes. of a guy? Um, I'm looking for an alpha male. Um, oh. I'm a very strong woman, so yeah. I need a guy who's going to stand up to me. Whoa. <laughs> well, I'll have to be leaving. <laughs> okay, so Jerry is very obviously not an alpha male because he's a fucking Sigma male and he knows it. It'd be hilarious if all three guys that came out were like the TikTok alpha male gurus or the alpha male podcast guys. So she could see what an actual self-proclaimed alpha male is because that's it. Hi, Sarah, you look wonderful. I'm a contractor, I'm very passionate about building homes. I love spending time on the beach also. So if you pick me, we'll be watching the sunset together. Ooh. And they've got a beautiful beach in Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hate to say it, but that is the first joke that Jerry has made on this show that is not half bad. And, and you know, it pains me to say that. Corey! I'm also a singer-songwriter, and if you pick me, I might write my own little song for you. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, you, no you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Please, please don't fucking sing to me right now. John! Hi, Sarah. I'm a former professional baseball player and love staying fit, staying strong. I know you're looking for an alpha male. These guys will take you to a sunset, maybe sing a song for you. Pick me, we're gonna hit a home run. And just like that, we're, we're already getting right into the jabs, right on cue. Let's start with Paul. I grab my date's butts in public. Would you do it at like, you're having dinner with my parents, or? <gasps> yeah, I probably oh, would. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't you ever date my daughter. <laughs> okay, Jerry, calm down there. You won't do shit. You have hollow bones. Oh, no. I subscribe to 10 porn sites. This show is not so old where it makes sense that he's paying for all of these subscriptions. This was like 2010 or 11. Just Google boobs. Have you ever tried Googling boobs? You know what comes up? Boobs. In all honesty, if he is paying for all of these subscriptions, 10 to be exact, I am genuinely afraid of what he might be into. I don't necessarily have a huge problem with that, but it really depends on what those 10 porn sites actually are. I like to admire the anatomy. I like the movement of anatomy. And I just love porn, I mean. You know, she almost gave him an out there, if you want to call it that. But no, rather than just shutting up and nodding and smiling and taking that lifeline, he had to, uh, talk more. But thank God he did open his mouth because we got the longest and most awkward few seconds of silence in baggage history. Who doesn't like sex? <laughs> John, show us your bag. I eat dog food. On second thought, maybe porn guy does have a chance. So now that everyone's been introduced, 
Unfortunately, it's time for Sarah to eliminate one of the guys, not based on looks or charm, but by what's inside of their bedrooms. What the fuck? Okay, who swapped out the lines with the Room Raider script? I'm so sorry, sir. The AI that writes your scripts must have glitched out. I don't know how. Okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Someone bring me my stress gerbil. I need something to squeeze. Yes, sir, right away. Jesus Christ. Guys, sometimes being a YouTuber is a lot of work, even though it's not. Oftentimes, one of my favorite ways to unwind is to have a nice glass of wine with dinner. But, trying to find new wines, it could be a hassle and a half. But that's where our sponsor of today's video, Bright Cellars, comes in. I've never been a big wine drinker, but that's mainly because it's so hard for me to find new wines that I actually like. But Bright Cellars makes that process super quick and easy. After taking a super quick and simple seven question quiz, Bright Cellars gets a better idea of your taste preferences and uses them to deliver wines you will truly enjoy. I personally like white wines, but I did select the option for them to send me one red wine they think I might enjoy. And, I did. I did enjoy all the wines, but the one that did stand out to me was the Life in the Woods Rosé of Pinot Noir. I said all of that right. But there were some wines in my box that I did not know how to pronounce, which means that it's good wine. And if you don't end up liking one of your wines, Bright Cellars will replace it in your next wine box. Something else I did enjoy about the service was the wine education cards that come with each bottle telling me everything from tasting notes, best serving pairings, best serving temperature, and even the wine's origin. Bright Cellars does all this while ensuring that their packaging has the lowest carbon footprint in the industry and is 100% recyclable. Sponsors like Bright Cellars help me make the content that I do for you guys, so you showing them love supports the channel. And in doing so, Bright Cellars is giving you guys a limited time 50% off your first six bottle box. Click the link in the description to get started. Thank you again to Bright Cellars. As I was saying, it's now time for Sarah to eliminate one of the guys, but she'll be doing so by picking one of their mid-tier baggage points without knowing which baggage goes to which guy. I pickpocketed my grandmother. <laughs> I started 13 bar fights last year. I chew tobacco day and night. I gotta say, none of these guys look like they're capable of any of this. My deal breaker is... I've pickpocketed my grandmother. You can't treat your family like garbage. Oh, get off your high horse. What's she gonna spend it on anyways? I'm honestly surprised she picked that one because that is probably the worst out of the bunch and that is usually not what they pick on this show. I made it 24 years and 9 months without hearing what it probably sounds like when Jerry Springer climaxes. But here we are, together for this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gosh. All I can say is, uh, I'm sorry, Grandma. I'll pay you back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey, but it's time to empty your pockets <laughs> and pack up and go. Look, man, you can't just be porn guy and rob your grandma guy and puppy dog face guy. You, you have to pick one. Ideally, none of them at all, but you get my point. But he shouldn't worry because all of our eliminated contestants get six months of PerfectMatch.com online dating service. He probably already does. What do you think? So why don't you guys join me over on the hot seat and we'll hear the stories behind your baggage. Before they all go back over to the hot seat, we catch back up with Guy again, and I'm assuming he's in a bathroom from how it sounds, and they give him one more chance to explain himself, maybe apologize, show some remorse, some guilt, anything. Everyone steals from their grandmother for one, once in a while, you know, a dollar, you know, they always have candy in their purses, but whatever, who cares? Or double down. <laughs> Why not? I mean, of course this is all fake to a certain degree, but I like to imagine his grandma just stumbling upon this show on whatever channel this is, like, 706 and just seeing him say all this shit because you know how old people are with tv they they believe the tv i can only assume an awkward phone call followed welcome to the hot seat brought to you by intellius date check because no one should go on a date completely in the dark i'm once again pleading anyone watching to not visit this website i don't care what device you are on it will fry said device no halfway decent product or service feels the need to be advertised by jerry springer and then the bigger bag is he gets in 13 bar fights duh of course he does. He's grabbing their butts. What's, what's your concern? I'm sorry, no amount of money can get me laughing that hard at Jerry Springer's jokes. It, it will not happen. Maybe once my channel dies, I, I'll consider it. You got old dog breath over here. He eats dog food and now he chews tobacco all the time. If we do hit it off, I mean, I could probably break the habit. 
Oh, come on. Just for you. Uh, what, the dog food or the... Uh, dog, dog, food's gonna, dog food's gonna stay, I think. This man knows something we don't, because he is far too eager to quit tobacco over quitting dog food. I don't know what they're putting in that shit, but it must be good. It's in your bloodstream. You're not gonna just kick it like that. Oh my god, this guy's fucking ruthless. It's in your blood. You're addicted. You'll never quit, so don't try. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I'm a contractor. I could build homes from scratch, foundation up, no problem. So if you ever want a house built, I'm the man. I could, I could fulfill your dreams. I heard you say earlier that you're looking for an alpha male. I'm definitely that. I was a pitcher when I played, so I was, all eyes were on me. Now I'm not gonna dive into the alpha male bullshit because it is just that. Bullshit. But if you're going to try and make a jab at him for not being an alpha male when he builds houses and really all we know about you is you play baseball. Sorry, not play. Played baseball. I'm a man's man, so I'll watch Gladiator, but I also love romantic comedies. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Although I have talked a mountain of shit about Pluto TV thus far, something that I did enjoy was the fact that the ad was integrated into the episode, if that makes sense. Like, it was part of the video, so I could just scrub ahead. I don't know if that's a product of Pluto TV or baggage just tapes their own episodes with commercials and uploads it to Pluto like it's YouTube, but it saved me time. That doesn't mean don't skip my ads though, okay? This this is this is different. Just please don't. But now it's time for Sarah to make her final decision and choose between the guy's biggest pieces of baggage. Now, these two guys are about to expose their biggest secrets hiding in these bags and Sarah will make her final decision. I spoke too soon because it was at this point in the show where Pluto decided to do what it does best and suck a big dick. For whatever reason, I could not pause the video. I could not do anything controlling the video. I couldn't even change the volume, no matter how many times I closed out of the tab, closed the window, restarted my computer. I'm assuming me being able to scrub through those ads earlier was not something I was supposed to be able to do, and Pluto TV being the Wix.com template website that it was, just kind of fucked up and let me do it. So now the player has caught up with me and is acting as though I am watching an ad when I am just watching the fucking show. I did end up getting it to start working later on by doing nothing, just waiting for it to start working again, and it did. I don't believe in birth control. Wow, this might be the first actual, like, realistic red flag on the show, not like, silly, quirky, I eat dog food kind of red flags, you know? You can tell that she is very not on board with that guy, but at the same time realizing that it means she would have to be with the dog food tobacco dipping guy. Which, now that I'm taking a close look at that guy, I feel like that's fabricated because you'd think his teeth would just be eaten up at this point, unless he's just eating dentist sticks, which, now that I think about it, maybe, maybe it cancels out the tobacco. I smashed my neighbor's car with a bat. I think even the last episode of Baggage we watched, it wasn't like everyone was the worst. But I feel like everyone's the worst on this one. Everyone. Even me for watching it. I feel bad for her because I would really not want to go on a date with either of these guys, and it's not because of their genes. Because the first guy, while he was a grandma-robbing porn addict, he didn't have any violent tendencies. At least, we didn't see his last piece of baggage. These guys seem to have a very short temper. This was a, a, just a weak moment in time. Yeah. I was in college, and it was late at night. It happened a series of times. He had a very sensitive car alarm. And I'm a pitcher. I wanted to perform really well. I wasn't getting much sleep. One night I just had enough. The alarm goes off. I walked outside, took the bat, and... Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm sorry. At, at first it did seem like that was kind of an extreme and over-the-top thing to do and would normally give me the impression that he cannot control his anger. But when I was reminded that he was a pitcher, it all started to make sense. And honestly, I'm Glad that he did that to his neighbor's car. Or will it be John, who eats dog food, chews tobacco day and night, and who smashed his neighbor's car with a bat? Okay, yeah, when you say everything like that, like one after another, it's gonna sound bad. What do you expect? Sarah, send one of these guys packing. Oh gosh. Yeah, her best bet would have been to just take the free dinner date that they win at the end of this with that first guy and then just not have to gamble her life with these two. Paul, I'm sorry, but you have too much baggage. Oh. Paul, what would you like to say, final words? You missed out on a good man, period. As I've always said once in that one video, nothing like being told that you missed out on an opportunity to reassure you that you in fact did not miss out on an opportunity.
How about that? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on a second. Here, chew on that for a sec. And now it is your decision, John. What's the secret in Sarah's big red bag? Did she push a boyfriend down a flight of stairs? Does she have a webcam in her bathroom? Or did she steal her neighbor's poodle and collect a $2,500 reward? You know, maybe after everything that he's admitted willingly on TV, he should just skip the her baggage part because even if she admitted to all three, he should still take what he can get. Which to you is the toughest piece of baggage to accept? I understand the poodle thing. You understand? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just too stupid to understand how cool it is to steal someone's dog just for the reward. Maybe I'm not the bag chaser I thought I was. Sarah, it is time to reveal your baggage. a webcam in my bathroom. Congrats, I guess. I mean, it wasn't one of the two crimes. It's not anything sexual uh, at all. The cam is positioned towards the mirror. I have a bunch of men that like to watch me get ready in the morning. I'm fully clothed. Do men pay to watch you in this? Is, is that what it is? Um, I don't really know them. I don't know. It sounds like it's just not sexual on her end. So I hope that you're a strong enough man to be able to deal with a woman who enjoys that. Whoa! Challenge. I gotta add this in because I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like he has too good of posture. You know what I mean? If we are together, would you have an issue with cutting down the number of men, perhaps, or? What I will say is that um, I would be willing to compromise, but I wouldn't be willing to stop. The fact that him quitting dog food is not even a part of the discussion baffles me. So Sarah's baggage being not one of the two crimes should make this Pretty fucking easy for him to decide. I honestly can't imagine him saying no to- I don't think I can handle your baggage. Oh! oh. <laughs> or not. I guess that was the worst thing ever to him. But luckily enough for Sarah, she doesn't have to see any of these men ever again. So, uh, legitimately a happy ending. And I usually say that kind of sarcastically, but the happiest of endings for a baggage episode. It's time to pack up and go. Okay, off to the webcam. But guys, I know that I just covered baggage not too long ago, and I try not to put out too many of the same thing, like, too close to each other, but I wanted to do something that I can make pretty quick for you guys while I work on a few bigger things in the background that I think you guys are really gonna like. One of them has to do with another stinky YouTuber that I, uh, I talk about a lot. So, look forward to that. Anyways, guys, don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't. With all that being said, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.